Welcome back to the lecture again. So in this lecture we are going to discuss about the sigmoidal nature or sigmoid Emax model. One second. The sigmoid Emax model. Sigmoid Emax model or sigmoid concentration effect model, whatever you call it. So in this sigmoid Emax model we are going to discuss about the steepness or the curvature effect of the concentration effect model of the so let's take a look at the example over here so as you're aware the y-axis is the effect and the x-axis is the concentration let's say we have a curve something like this okay and the other curve something like this okay and we have something like this and let's draw one more line hmm. let's say we have another curve something like this okay as you may have noticed in all these cases in all these examples in all these uh, let's say this is example 1, example 2, example 3, example 4. In all these examples you may have noticed the EC50 the same and the Emax Emax is same and the the initial effect is same for 2, 3 and 4 uh, sorry say let's say 1, 3 and 4 and the there is a minimal effect e naught effect for the example number two right okay let's so and again all these follow same equation e is equal to e max times c over e c 50 plus c right but there is a subtle change between these equations there is a subtle change in the steepness of the curvature so how do you account for this steepness and how do you uh, you know fit your data so for this like uh, there is a hill factor or it's also known as sensitivity factor known as uh, you know hill, hill function I'm gonna show you right now in this equation so effect is equal to e max times c power n over e c 50 plus c power n so this n as you can see this n is uh, hill factor guys hill factor okay this n is the hill factor okay so this n will affect this equation will account for the steepness or the curvature or the curvature effect and I want to let you let you know one thing here uh, actually the power parameter this is the power parameter n does not have any significant you know biological interpretation there is no uh, I mean I want to say significant there is no biological interpretation as such but still there are theories and the rational behind that is it's uh, other than the sigmoidicity constant it is also known as the uh, it also accounts for the cooperativity I'm going to say cooperativity okay okay so let's say for example if n is equal to so let's say n is, is equal to 1 uh, we have an equation something like this and n is greater than 1 that is positive and n is less than 1 that is negative so if n is equal to 1 it's positive cooperativity and if n is equal to 1 there is negative cooperativity so what does it mean the cooperativity it shows you know more binding will take place at low concentration okay more binding will take place at low concentration and n if it's n is less than 1 there is less binding at low concentration the okay 
so let's take a look at the example here so if n is something like this n is n is n is less than 1 I'm sorry let, let me rewrite this let me if n is so n is less than 1 right n is if n is let's say this is 1 and this is 0 0.5 okay and let's draw one more thing uh, one more so here n is greater than one this is n is greater than one and this is n is less than one so for this greater than one okay the there will be more binding at low concentration okay this is this also this cooperativity of this health function is also shows the receptor receptor or effector heterogeneity heterogeneity receptor or effector heterogeneity so what does it mean is uh, some receptors need you know high and some receptors need a low concentration right so if you take a look at this 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 green curve here okay it's all are non effect as you can see they all are non effect guys because as you can see here there is no effect there is no you know real effect i mean there is no effect until this point right so all of a sudden this curve as you can see it's steepened and again it touched the e, e max right so it's something like this so there is no effect till this point but when the concentration crossed certain point so when it reached nearly EC50 the effect shoot like almost to the E max so but but some as you can see some there is there is the slope of the curve is 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 not that steep so it's very uh, it's not very steep so it's something like this okay as you can see so for this one the the cooperativity is less, n is less than one. It's negative cooperativity. This n is less than one. Okay. So, and as you can see, this line. So, why there is an effect here? There, there is a certain effect, right? Why there is an effect? So, the F, there is an effect. Why? Because the your your drug is binding with your receptor, right? your drug is binding with the receptor so there's a reason there is an effect so this shows that the there's a wide distribution of receptor binding for this curve for this curve there's a wide um, wide distribution of receptor binding but for this green let's say okay I'm sorry for this for this for this green curve can, can you, this green line can you see that so it shows a very narrow very narrow range of binding constant right very narrow range because there is no binding between the drug and the receptor there is no effect so there is no effect until this point so there is a narrow range of a binding constant so at a, at a concentration when concentration reaches a certain point let's say until e c 50 so that concentration is sufficient enough to bind those narrow range of you know receptors and which ultimately elicits the effect uh, and which may reach the peak immediately okay so I know this is a little bit confusing so I'm going to leave you here in the next lecture we are going to find the slope of this curve the slope of this this curve the slope for this curve the slope from here to here so we're going to find the slope Okay, alright, I'm going to stop it here.